Yo! Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna be quick. Yo! Alright, guys. It is your boy, Zerd. Dude, honestly, I'm having a fantastic day. There's um, some drama going down in a group chat, and it is extremely entertaining to just read, and I just wanted to get out the popcorn like Keemstar, but I have some instant lunch instead. And um, the struggle, my parents aren't home today, so I can just talk about whatever I want to talk about, and it's not going to be weird. I don't care about like waking them up or anything. Well, I mean, I do, but like, I'm not going to wake them up is basically what I'm trying to say. And um, let's go for some ground war. Let's, let's, let's go let's do it so um fantastic day at school today i don't know why i'm just in a really really good mood i'm all energetic usually okay so when, if my hypothesis is correct in one hour i'll be extremely tired i don't know why but my sleep pattern's been all weird and it seems to go around 5 to 6 30 i'll be tired and then i'll be like eh and then it's 7 I'll be awake again, so I don't know if that's going to hold true today, but what I do know is I'm going to kill some people. So I was having a really interesting conversation with my um, teacher today in linguistics. Not like a linguistics teacher, she's my math teacher, but she's really cool, and I um, mean, I'll stay after her because she like, she's a very knowledgeable person, and I can talk to her about a lot of different things, or like if I'm having troubles at home or whatever, I feel like she's, like I'm really comfortable talking to her. Um, I'm actually... It's gonna be kind of whoa, buddy. Dang, dude. Oh no. Do I have a crossbow class? Please have a crossbow. No. I came up with the spot. Watch. If I get him, oh, hold on. Let me go into the spot. Me, and my friend Joe. Um, we used to always go and try to find like spots from like when people are camping to get like a random crossbow or whatever. And this one spot was the crossbow spot. Let me go right here line up everything right there and you shoot the crossbow so, but since this is a tomahawk um, assuming right here and if I get this guy I'll fucking freak nope but I did shoot him but anyway yeah um we're talking about just like different races things and all racism stuff and all that type of things and stuff as such and I found out that the word faggot is actually really bad like I already knew it was like not acceptable to use and like it's a bad word but um, I found out how it came about, and it's actually kind of like really bad. You're like, oh damn, like that's not a good word. So basically, the history behind it is faggot is a pack of sticks. Um, usually, the word faggot was used to like um, talk about a bag of sticks uh, meant to be burned, like how I'd, I'm I'm a faggot. If I was a stick, I'd have been a faggot right there. Oh yeah, I didn't sync up my video. One, two, three, shoot. That's why um, in England or whatever they say a pack of fags for cigarettes is because they're sticks that are meant to be burnt so when people are calling gay people faggots they're implying that they should just be burned which is awful oh dude i love this map i just swayed i didn't want to talk during the pregame lobby but uh yeah so i just learned a bunch of like stuff like that and um cultural appropriation which i don't know i i i'm a very open-minded person so i can see a lot of things and I understand where people are coming from a lot of time, but at the same time, I have this like mental mentality is like people, if there weren't such things as culture or races or anything, people would figure out the stuff that people find is racist anyway. Like for example, like um, getting dreadlocks, I wanted to get dreadlocks for a little bit, and then I kind of like I would kind of look stupid in them anyway. But um, people are saying that's racist. I'm like, well. Like, if there weren't cultures or anything, people would still find out about dreadlocks. So it's like, it's not something, I don't know, it's not racist because that's just something that people do anyway. If you don't like somebody because, like, they're black, then that's racist. And the reason why that's racist is because it's pointing out a difference. But if a culture, like, cultures have all these rules and things, um, and people would find out about these rules, or not rules, but, like, little things like practices like um dreadlocks are a practice for many african or just like oh fuck for a lot of like black cultures and stuff um dreadlocks you're not supposed to touch your hair and that's how they form with um black hair because it's thicker so that's how white dreadlocks is like mainly like when you think of dreadlocks you think of like black people is because it's like culture ties in but it's not like without the culture people wouldn't find out about them anyway so like 
if it wasn't part of a culture, people would still have dreadlocks. And like, that's the kind of thing that I think shouldn't be racist because it is a hairstyle. People would find out about it anyway. It's, it shouldn't be something like that. Or um, the those Indian dresses, like, I don't think that should be considered racist. That Dude, can nobody on their team die? Dude, I think only like... See, he can die. I don't think I can even get a hit marker on this person. Oh yeah, those Indian dresses, like people say that that's racist if you wear those and you're not Indian, but if there was no such thing as an Indian culture, people would have found out about that anyway. They're, like, that'd be a thing. Shit, why'd I spawn? Oh boy, boy, that's like, that's like a white boy 7th street type of athletic event. Oh my lord. But I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying or not, but that's just how I see it. Like, if it's not directly something that you can't control, then it should, that is racist. Like, you can't control your skin color, but cultures were made up by people and those are controllable. Like, um... Christianity, I, I wouldn't really say it's as much as like a culture, um, but if you disagree, let me know, but like for Christianity and stuff, like the Pope, he can change those rules. Like that's that's the reason why I use Christianity is because I know that the Pope can change uh, like the rules, but um, so like you can choose. It's not, oh, boy, what? I'm out this. Oh, dude, fuck, I fucked up my Elgato thing again. That's alright. The video will come out normal. It's just more work for me. So don't don't you worry about it. Same production, just more work to execute. ski -yoo! I think I'm, uh, I'm trying to drop a single. I have somebody working on a beat that I can uh, for me so I can have it on my song. And I got to write some dope bars. So I'll probably be writing those tonight because in English I have creative writing. So I get to write anything and I get credit for whatever I write. So if I'm writing some lyrics, I'll get credit for that. Uh, so why not? It'll give me some motivation to write. Uh, I like the beat. The beat is different than what I was telling him to do. So it kind of gave me more, more motivation. And actually, if you were wondering who is working on the beat, I think you guys can guess. It's the person that I use this song for every single one of my videos. You're probably hearing it right now. Dun dun. Da, 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 da. I, I don't know how to hum it. But, um. Automal. I hope I'm saying it right. I always say it wrong. And he always is like, dude, that's not how you say it. I'm like, bro, I don't know what. I can't. I can't. But yeah, Zerg about to hot, drop a hot single. Oh yeah, that's right. I hit a split quad feed uh, yesterday. I'll probably put, I'll put that in the video. I'll put in with clip in parenthesis, and I'll get more views, and I'll be like super duper cool, bro. All right, whatever. I gotta go. It's been your boy Zerd, guys, and hopefully you're having a fantastic day. That is Face Carl, dude. I did it a fucking second time. All right, this has been Zerd, and as always, stay viewing, my friends. Dennis, bitch, I'm back with a vengeance With a 10-inch blade that'll rip your intestines My intentions are intense, for instance My instincts are killer When I drill a hole through your forehead with a Phillips